Hello, my name is Tiffany Smith. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Monroeville, Alabama. I'm currently here at Julia Tutwiler Prison for Women, where I was sentenced to serve 18 years for manslaughter. I would like to go back to my past of how I was living the fast life, hanging with the wrong crowds, feeling like I had to do whatever to fit in with those crowds, and it only led me to come into prison. But I can honestly say that I know that it was the grace of God that has brought me where I'm at today because I could have been dead. You know, I could have done more than what I'm charged for. But when I first got to prison, I was real rebellious because I feel like the world was against me for what I did. And I had a problem with, I started out having a problem with authority and I felt like the authority was taking advantage of their position. And as the years has passed, I've learned that the position that they carry is to help you be a better person, help you to show society that you can, people can change, and everyone deserves a second chance at life. When I was out there on the streets, I, I dropped out of school when I was in the end of the 10th grade. Okay, I'm a mother, single mother of three. Um, I was running here and there and never had time to get an education after dropping out of high school. But I can honestly say that since I've been incarcerated here at Tuckweiler, I have taken advantage of the opportunities that they've put out there for me. I've obtained my GED and graduated with a certificate of completion from Commercial Food Service at J.F. Ingram State Technical College, which I appreciate them for having those opportunities here for us. And I would like to tell anyone that it could be anyone sitting in this seat where I am today. Everyone has made a mistake, but you can also learn from those mistakes. And always, if you always keep God as the head of your life, he'll carry you a long way. It took God to place a lot of those authorities into my life to sit me down and let me know that this here is a new beginning for my life here. This is a start to a better life here. And I've taken advantage of that and I'm willing to go out and just show the world that I'm not that criminal that they take me to be, that I'm a child of God that has made a mistake and I surely feel that I've paid the price for it. And I would like to be out there in society because I've hurt not only my kids and my victims' family, but I've also hurt society and I'm willing to go back out and make that up to them. We've ran into situations to where at the time we might not have thought about what we were doing before we did those things, but when the time comes, you're going to have to pay and you're going to have time to sit back and look at the consequences that you was facing when you was out there into your addictions, doing the things that you did. And my word to everyone out there is to, you know, keep the faith, keep praying, keep God first in your life and learn from someone that has always been there, you know, to, to carry you down the right roads, you know, take heed of what they're telling you. And I just ask for all of those that I've hurt to forgive me right now and hope that I can continue to be on the right track. And I know as long as I stay with God that I will be on the right track. And I just want you to know that, you know, you can live and learn from your mistakes. Tiffany, I just want to let you know that as I listen to your story, I can see where you're sorry for what you've done. Yes, sir. And I can also see the forgiveness that God has put in your heart. Now, let me ask you, how many years did they give you? I was sentenced to serve 18 years. 18 years. Yes, sir. And the reason why is that because it was manslaughter? Yes, sir. Well, I, was, I started out being charged as murder, mm -hmm. but they dropped it down. The jury found me guilty of manslaughter. Manslaughter. So it was a neighbor or somebody you got yes, involved sir. with? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Was it a man or woman? It was a male. A male. Okay. Uh, as I was thinking about what you were saying, how many children do you have? I have four. You have four and you're a single yes, sir. mom? Yes, sir. Okay. So therefore, how is the youngest one? My youngest one will be six years old in November. And the oldest one? Is she just turned 10. Just 10. So you had six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have a 10-year-old, <laughs> a 8-year-old, a 6-year-old, and a 5-year-old. Oh, five. Okay, then. Um, who's taking care of them now? 
my sister has my middle two. Mm -hmm. My um, oldest one, grandmother, she lives with her grandmother, and my youngest one is with her aunt. Now, I noticed you said that it's a blessing that you're here now. Tell me again, as you look at me, why is it a blessing that you're here now? It is a blessing that I'm where I am today because I could have been dead with the lifestyle that I was living out there and nothing that, there wasn't anything that someone could tell me that I would listen to. And I, it was either my way or no way, and my way only led me here to Tutwiler. Okay, now, what would you want to tell these other young people out there? who a lot of them are thinking that way. You know, I gotta have my way. I gotta do what I wanna do. What would you tell them? Okay, my word to you would be, if you're ever put into a circumstance where you feel like it's gonna be your way or no way, think about what you're wanting to do before you do it, because your way is not always the right way. And if you have God first in your life, that he will lead you the right way and he will let you be able to handle the situation better than what I handled, how I handled it. Now, Tiffany, what you said is a key word, is having God in your life. See, God gives you the right directions. And how do you get God in your life? You have to spend time, time with every day studying his what? His word. His word, the word of God. Don't go by what somebody else said. You got to study for yourself. Yes, sir. It's just like eating food. I cannot eat for you, can I, Tiffany? No, sir. You have to eat for yourself. It's the same thing. If you spend time seeking God first, Matthew 6, the kingdom of heaven, then all these other things will be added unto you. All the joys. Look at all the joys now that Tiffany have missed. How old are you now, Tiffany? I'll be 28 next month. 28 years old. And, and according to them, she'll probably be here maybe to 45 or 50 years old. But we know the Lord can work miracles by her changing her lifestyle. Yes, sir. And all your kids will be grown when you get out of here. Yes, sir. Every one of them, even the one five years old, right? Yes, sir. But the thing about it is this. You now have another chance. Yes, we sir. all have another chance. But it's a chance that we have every day. So let's every day spend time with the Word of God. I just want to share this thought with you. And it's in this book here, Bible Questions and Answers. It says, the will of God will never take you where the grace of God will not keep you. The will of God will never take you where the arms of God will not support you. Yes. The will of God will never take you where the riches of God will not supply your needs. The will of God will never take you where the power of God will not endow you. And I just want you to know as you share material like this and study God's word of the material the United Prison Ministry has put here for all the different books and things of this nature that I know you will be blessed too. That like I said, it's too blessed to be what? Stress. Stress. And the, have you been blessed? Yes, sir, Thank I have. For Let's see that beautiful smile. Let them know out there. <laughs> You're only smiling, not because of what you were, it's because of who is now in your life, right? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank Tiffany. you. May God bless you. Same to you.